Here at Penn Medicine's Abramson Cancer Center, we believe the cure is within. And not just within our groundbreaking therapies and treatment combinations, but within every patient whose journey brings them to our cancer program. Having personal experience in how a cancer patient has to go through the journey on his or her own really has stimulated me to really make a difference in leading this cancer center. So my brother um, was diagnosed with a lump in his groin and um, the surgeons in California thought that it was uh, testicular cancer. Turns out it was a wrong diagnosis. And um, upon further examination, it turns out that he has a sarcoma that is one of the most deadliest form of cancer. And so I see uh, this older brother of mine, a very robust bicyclist, uh, succumb to a deadful disease. The unfortunate thing is that he did not have the kind of care that you can get at Penn Saperson Cancer Center. There was no precision in his care. There was no personalized care. It was care that was like a herd of cows through a system. Our approach to fighting cancer here at the Abramson Cancer Center is very different. Quite simply, it is as unique as your own DNA, your own dreams for the future. Before we recommend any treatment, we look and listen with great care to uncover your genetic strengths and your cancer's genetic weaknesses. It's personalized treatments plus precision medicine. It really takes teams and a whole village to really take care of individual patients from their perspective, not from our perspectives as caregivers, but really from the perspective of the patient. There are a number of exciting uh, developments that have happened here in the Cancer Center uh, in now the space of immunotherapy. Um, I think first and foremost, it's the realization that cancer immunotherapy works. I was diagnosed with cancer in 1996, uh, chronic lymphocytic leukemia uh, to be exact. Uh, I had a wife and four kids and, and uh, needless to say I was, I was terrified. Dr. Porter talked to me about this new uh, therapy that would use my own white cells to kill the cancer cells uh, and that he thought I would be a good candidate for it. There's been no doubt that human immune cells are powerful anti-cancer agents. And so the ability to work with a patient's own immune cells and then to genetically change them to make them even more powerful and better um, really held incredible promise and was something that was really exciting. Three weeks after their incredible therapy, they couldn't find one leukemia cell. Not one. My immune system killed my cancer. It wasn't even a fair fight. Dr. June is, is um, a brilliant immunologist. He has also had a passion for cellular immunotherapy, and he has believed for 10 years that this kind of therapy could work and could treat and, in fact, hopefully cure cancer. The, the major reward of, of cancer research is actually uh, the ability to make a difference for patients. It's been three years since my first infusion with my reprogrammed T-cells. It's pretty amazing to know that the cure is within me. That you understand that your journey is not alone. We have whole teams to be there to be on the journey with you. Teams consisting of scientists, clinicians, nurses, other caregivers, to make sure that you have a family I was very young when my mother had breast cancer. At the age of 36, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and was aggressive. And at the age of 43, um, it was just before my 19th birthday, I was 18, she died. At the age of 36, I had an MRI that was inconclusive, that they said was probably benign. Those were words my mother had heard 25 years before. So I tracked down my mom's oncologist from 25 years prior. And she said, you really need to go get tested. The test did not exist when your mom was alive. And she recommended that I go to Penn. BRCA1 and BRCA2 are genes that everyone is born with. However, if you're born with one bad copy of one of those genes, you have a very increased risk of developing certain types of cancer. Ultimately, our goal is to have 
better choices for individuals with these gene mutations and to eliminate the development of cancer in these individuals altogether. Knowing that Basser Center exists gives me hope that my nieces and future generations will have even better options than I did. That's why I continue to participate in studies, because I had an amazing experience at the Abramson Cancer Center, and because I know the cure is within me. We can use the latest science to really take out the cancer, find out what the genetic defects are, and then to go to our best clinicians to think about your problem specifically. What are the drugs that could be used for this cancer? What are the least toxic therapy? How do we follow it up? Back in April, Mark had a cough um, that was persistent. It just wasn't going away. It was that cough that everyone had this winter. They told me he had pneumonia, so I thought, great, do some medicine, it'll be better. But in two weeks, he, he didn't feel better, so he went back for a second checkup, and uh, they said they needed to do some further testing. They found that the spot on my lung has not changed, so they felt as though it was cancer. Because of Mark's medical history and he was healthy, um, they decided to test his tumor for a genetic mutation. So this test, developed by the Center for Personalized Diagnostics, allows us to use a small amount of DNA and to comprehensively look at the most common genes that could be um, abnormal. There are several kinds of benefits that, uh, that this uh, gene panel diagnostics can provide because uh, if we're doing 50 genes, soon we'll be doing several hundred genes, um, you get a lot of information that sort of comes along for the ride. There have been several cases that have come through the CPD recently of uh, lung cancer that have, um, that have mutations in a particular gene, and that allows the potential use of a targeted therapy. Yes. You just recently had your eight-week checkup, mm -hmm. and? Yeah, it was awesome. And? Eight, uh, 80% of my tumor has shrunk in my lung. My lung my lymph nodes are almost back to normal. We expected some result, but I never expected this much result. The cure is within me. Other places talk about compassionate care, but here, that's only a piece of the picture. We treat you with great care, but also with great insight and a deep understanding of you, your life story, and your cancer. To the latest science delivered with great humanity, lies to cure. The cure is within. The cure is within. The cure is within. The cure is within me. The cure is within. Tell someone.